What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody's doing well. I am doing fabulous as soon as I get past the popo. All right, guys, we're on our way to Walmart. We got $9.75 order. We got 79 pieces. We're going to get this money. It's right up the street from my house anyway. I like this Walmart. I need to get over by the way yep everything is going good on this I don't give a damn Saturday oh man excuse me all right guys yeah that's right Super Bowl here in 2022 in Tampa it's gonna be a lot of money to be made a lot of people coming to town uh, me and the wifey, we, we might attend some of the, the events that they might have. Especially if the 49ers make it back to back. <laughs> but I don't know, guys. But we we, we, we going to hit some of the events. The All-Star game or something. I'm going to try to get my tickets now. That's for sure. Coke gonna be busy because we we own the contract for the stadium, so hopefully they'll give us some tickets. They normally give us some buck tickets, so hopefully we get some tickets. Ooh. Yeah, we own a suite up there, so I'm gonna put my tickets in there. Don't mean I'm gonna get them. It's gonna go to the salespeople first, but we're gonna try definitely try to go. I mean, it's going to be a lot of money, man. A lot of hotels, a lot of people coming to town. Spend that loop. And I'm going to be dashing my tail off. Yeah, if I'm still in Tampa, I'm pretty sure I'll still be here. But other than that, family, everything is great, man. Oh, snap. Ooh. I need my coffee. I can't stop yawning. Did good last night. We got eight, but I didn't bowl great. Wifey did good. We was on lane one and two. If you know anything about bowling, lane one and two is horrible. Anything by the door affects, you know, coming in and out the door affects the oil pattern. So one lane was dry, one lane was wet. It was horrible. I figured it out, though. I just didn't shoot a 600, I shot like a 592, 596, something like that. I'm trying to see where she going at. I want to make sure we're going to her house. Leah. Yeah, it looks like we're going to her house. <sighs> I'm at the light now. They already sent me my message that don't look like I'm going in the right direction, so... Hope they don't take it away from me. Oh, if they do, they do. Uh, I called my mom this morning. I haven't talked to her in a couple of days. Call see how she doing. I think with the weather changes, messing with my allergies. I didn't get allergies this time I turned 40. Ain't that about nothing? My wife said, you probably already had it and didn't know. You just gonna get I, mean, I got it when I was turning 40. Never used to have no problem with the weather changing. I'm getting old, guys. I'm just getting old. It's all good though. It's all good. Ooh. I've been at this light for five minutes. I don't know what's going on. It's one of these long lights, man. He be Christmas. I hate Tampa lights, man. It's like they don't care. They don't care that I'm on an order. They just stay red for five minutes. My eyes are itching. Come on, go, man. Gee, be Christmas. You want to sit at another light? Had a great day, man. 
<laughs> hey Trina, it's true. My job is to pick up the uh, food, not get into it with the, what you call it. But if you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all them pictures at that. I'm gonna show y'all, then y'all see why I'm upset because I can't use the bathroom there and I had to go to the bathroom. I know this is disgusting, but I'm gonna show y'all anyway so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Y'all need to see what your boy got to go through when he go to that nasty steakhouse. Where is it at? Y'all gonna see the picture. Y'all gonna see why why I got into it with the with that guy. Don't make no sense. I'm just gonna I ain't gonna show you all the pictures I took because y'all don't need to see the blood and stuff. But I am gonna show you. Look at this. Look at this nasty toilet, man. That's mold build up pee. I don't know if y'all can see it, but at the bottom of that toilet, it's all goo goo. There's blood on the floor by the toilet. That's why I had to say something. Wasn't trying to be mean, just, you know, that's a public restroom. People got to go in there. I feel bad for old people going there, use the bathroom, they breathing in that nasty mess, them spores from the mold. That stuff is horrible, man. And how do you let a restaurant get like that? And it's always packed and nobody saying anything. So I had to say something, man. That's just filthy, man. The manager should be fired. If I was the owner, I'd come in there, I'd tell him, you gonna clean that with no gloves on. <laughs> yeah, but that thing filthy, man. Yeah, and that's in a restaurant. It wouldn't be bad, but you could smell it. You could smell that mess in the lobby, man. And people just still sitting there eating. The damn food ain't that good, I tell you that much. If it is, it still ain't good enough to eat in no funky place like that. <coughs> oh, man. Ambulance in front of what you call it? In front of Walmart. Hopefully, they just getting food. All right, let me go ahead and swipe. Hopefully they I gotta put my jacket on. It's a little cool this morning. So I don't know if I got an allergy or cold, but I ain't trying to get sick, so put my little jacket on. What stall I'm in? Let's go three. We go stall three. Oh, I'm the only one here so far. Excuse me for a minute, guys. I'm gonna blow my nose. I'm back. I think they're coming with my stuff now. <sighs> yeah, they're coming with my stuff. All right, fam. I'm gonna get this set up. I'll be right back. All right, family. We got our order. Low water. A lot of groceries, though. Let's see where we're going at. Definitely a house. That's a good thing. Mm. All right. We're on our way, fam. Everybody's starting to pull up now. They're about to get busy. Alright, All right, we got quite a little ways to go. Turn left, then turn Six right. Five miles, man. Right? <sighs> Had to cut the heat on. So, if you're new to the channel today, is I don't give a damn charity. Right. Well, we right. give a damn, but we say we don't give a damn. Like this morning, I asked my wife, I said, you want a donut with your coffee? She said, yeah, baby, bring me back a donut. I said, I don't give a damn if you want a donut right. or not. I'll like bring you Bruce one back anyway. Boulevard. So we said dumb things. How you like my shoes, baby? I don't give a damn about your shoes, honey. Turn left on Bruce B. Dance Boulevard. Just to get that reaction. 
How my hair look? I don't give a damn about your hair. Your hair look fine, baby. <laughs> you tell your woman you don't give a damn, you're going to get a response. Might not be the one you want, but you're going to get something. I just like to see my wife mouth say, I like close your mouth, girl. You know I give a damn, but I don't give a damn. But the day is I don't give a damn Saturday, so I can't give a damn. Even though you want me to give a damn, I don't give a damn. You know what I mean? It's that type of Saturday. So, I have fun with it. They be like, you want your receipt? I don't give a damn about that receipt. <laughs> yeah, I want my receipt. Then they'll start laughing. Or they'll say, wow, that's how you feel? <laughs> But I give them hell all day, man. Give them hell all day. But you gotta have fun with it. I have fun with it, man. People know not to call me on Saturday. I don't mess with mom. I don't mess with mom. Too much respect. I was like, man, why is you calling me on I don't give a damn Saturday? <laughs> they be like, I just want to talk to you. I don't give a damn if you want to talk to me. What you want to talk about? <laughs> Yeah, man, I get mad. Y'all seen those pictures, man. That picture's disgusting, man. That bathroom has been like that for over a year. I've been going there over a year, and I've been noticing it. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That mold going to take over the whole unit. But I already called the health department, so I don't, I don't have to deal with it no more. I'm not taking no more orders from Steak and Shake. So, not that one anyway. <clears throat> I know it when I see it. The one on Fowler. I'll go back to my other one. So, they ain't got to worry about me no more. That's for sure. Oh yeah, we going up the street. Continue straight for nine minutes to Wesley Chapel Boulevard. So I'm going to get an oil change this morning also. Probably stop dashing long enough to get a oil chain and a car wash to go with it. So I think it opened up at eight. Yeah, I already put three thousand miles on it. Might as well say three thousand miles. I don't mess around, guys. Not mess around. I get in and get out. My buddy, I'll never forget. I, I asked my buddy, "Can I use this car to dash?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm going away for the weekend." time he got back he was like hey man how many miles did you go man <laughs> i'm like dude door dash you go from one spot to the other he's like oh no man i thought you was gonna you know i didn't know you had to ride like that i'm like yeah man i don't know how many miles i put on this car but i put some miles on this car man he lent it to me for the whole weekend this when i was in dc yeah man I was getting the truck worked on. He had extra cars. He was going out of town. I burned that little Mustang. Up. I mean, not Mustang. I'm sorry. I burned that little Chevy up. I was running from D.C. To, I was working in Baltimore. I was getting my money. I was with Uber Eats then. I wasn't with DoorDash. I didn't do DoorDash until I came to Florida. But it, it was always Uber Eats. I was doing good too, man. One thing about Uber Eats, they gonna make sure your car's straight. You gotta make, you gotta keep showing proof of insurance. You gotta make sure you you don't get no tickets. Even though they the reason why I got. I got kicked off of Uber Eats because they told me to hurry up and get over there to a person. They didn't want to lose it, lose this customer. Me, like a dummy, I get a ticket. You know, I, I forgot how fast I was going, but it was in a, um, like a 35 or 45 zone or something like that. I forgot. And they got me for reckless driving, and then Uber Eats suspended me 
told me that I'm suspended for a whole year till that ticket come off. I was like, y'all the one got me the ticket. Y'all told me to hurry up and get over there. Y'all got that conversation? I was doing y'all a favor. I was showing my loyalty. <laughs> I was being loyal. They called me and said, Alan, we need you to get over there right away. Such, such, such. This is a important client of ours, blah, blah, blah. I get a ticket. And then they forgot that that was a important client of theirs. And they uh, deactivate me. I was pissed with them, boy. I was pissed with them. But I made a lot of money with Ubi's. Ubi's made me fall in love with the, um, you know, the dash, the dashing game. So that's why I won't talk bad about them. Yeah, I got a little ways to go, fam. If it's, is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, I'm getting 975 to go five miles. I'm seeing all my popo hiding spots. I'm doing the speed limit, so I ain't worried about it. Ooh. Sorry guys, that was a good yawn. Just getting ready for not this week, next weekend, Super Bowl. Yes, I'm dashing. I'm recording the game. Even though my boys play. I probably just cut it. I probably cut I'm gonna dash all the way up to the game. Then I probably stop dashing so I can watch the game and then I don't care too much about the halftime. They are never equaled up to uh, Prince Halftime Show, Michael Jackson Halftime Show. That was just, man, I, I still remember them shows, man. You know, they had some good shows. I don't know how good this one would be. Ooh. I better slow this thing down. I looked up, I'm doing 60. Speed limit 45. See, look, mama gets you, she quiet. She's smooth and quiet. She gets you in trouble. Turn left on Wesley Chapel Boulevard. I sure will. I might be back here in these new houses, man. They got a uh, car wash attached to a Dunkin' Donut. Yeah. In New Tampa, man. New Tampa doing big things, man. I ain't never seen that before. You know? I can go get my coffee, donut, and a car wash, dude. Psh, man. Huh. Yes, sir. First time I've ever seen a Dunkin' Donut with a car wash attached to it. I'm in heaven. <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't beat that. Oh, look at the little MR2. I used to have an MR2. Didn't have it for long, but I had an MR2. Two seater. I bought the thing for like twelve hundred, and then somebody offered me twenty five hundred, and I sold it in like two days. <laughs> I, I double my profit. 
Yeah. Had a red one. Took me to the highway. It's nice, man. Every time I come to New Tampa, man, they build something new. They build quick too, man. Florida, they build quick. I guess because there's a lot of, you know, the weather's nice. Ooh. Ooh. They try to build it before the rainy season. It wasn't that bad this year, the rainy season. When I first came here, it rained every day. Every day. About a month, it rained every day. It didn't rain long. You can get you can get a, a three minute shower here. It'll rain like the world is coming to an end for three minutes. <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> you be like, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah. It rains in minutes here. It don't rain all day. Some days it rains all day. Some days it rains five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we had a flood in three minutes. We were flooded out. Like, but thank God it only lasted three minutes because some places were just flooded. Some places, places we flooded out. Did I say that three times in a row? Probably did. I hate when I repeat myself, and then I hear myself repeat myself. Then I'm asking myself, why did you say it again? I just said it. And you didn't like the way you said it the first time. All right, guys. In half a mile, turn right. Well, they got a place called Rice and Beans. I bet you it's pretty good, too. All right, we should be coming up on our turn. We up here by the mall, the outlet. I'm glad my wife didn't come. She be like, we gonna wait till the outlet open up. Turn right on Lexington Oaks Boulevard. Lexington Oaks Boulevard. All right. Already sound like an expensive area. Oh yeah, I've been back here before. I remember the horses. This is a wildlife area. You might see anything crossing the street back here. In three quarters of a mile. At the roundabout, take the second exit on Lexington Oaks Boulevard. And yeah, they got a lot of horses back here. I want to go to a horse race while I'm here. I used to love in the Maryland, man. I love going to the horse track, bad on horses. distant driver so I, I look um, you know I see him up there at the roundabout take the second exit on Lexington Oaks Boulevard some people are they drive what they see in front of them I'm a distant I like I look ahead Strike the gold lane. Strike. 
like the gold lane. Boy, where the hell am I at? Hey, they got something called Strike the Gold Lane. Oh, yeah. No gate code. Turn right on Strike the Gold Lane. And turn right on Santos Way. Strike the Gold Lane. Boy, what kind of name is this? Boy, I ain't never heard of no street called Strike the Gold Lane. Ah, oh, damn, where the hell am I at? Turn right on Santos Way. All right, family. I don't want her address to get called up. I'll be right back. All right, family, we back. We got another Walmart. Uh, we're going to the. Turn right. We're going to the Turn one out right. here. Uh, okay. Put my seatbelt on. That went well. I met a new friend named Hannah. She helped her mother with her grocery. She told me I'm a big girl. I can carry heavy bags. I gave her that milk. She was like, oh, no, you got anything um, lighter than this, Mr. Al? <laughs> she introduced herself. I introduced myself. <laughs> so I hope Hannah had enough fun to tell her mom to leave me a tip. <laughs> I, I go through the kids, guys. I go through the kids. Kids and the wife I go through. Husbands are hard, man. It's hard to please the husband. You know, they look at it like we look at it. Me, I tell my wife, look, you done spent thirty dollars on pizza, right? In a quarter of a mile. Why you gonna get that man ten dollars tip? Get that man a couple dollars, and let him be on his way. See, that's how we look at it. We don't look at it like, oh, he worked hard, he worked for tips. You know, my wife tried to do like the uh, restaurant do a percentage of the amount. The amount of money plus the percentage and then you you round it off and take the first exit you know. on Lexington Oaks Boulevard. I do tip guys, I do tip. Don't get me wrong, I do tip. I don't tip like my wife tip, but I do tip. I work for tips, I understand. So I do tip. I just don't tip an arm and a leg. I'm like damn, my wife will give you a paycheck. You drop something off, say, here you go. Oh, no, no, that's too much, baby. Uh-uh, come on, give me, give me that 10 back. Take that five and that, 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 that one. <laughs> that's, uh, she's a giver. Turn right on Wesley Chapel Boulevard. I got five men talking donut while I'm out here, man. I can't do it. All right, my time is creeping up. I ain't even see how many items I got. I just took it. I don't mind getting stuck between the two stores. 62 pieces, not bad. I don't mind getting stuck between the two Walmart, bouncing back and forth. Because, I mean, I, I'd be at a, I'd be at $100 before you know it. And today, I got a bowl at uh, 1 o'clock, so I got to make my money fast. Yeah, we, we bowled two leads today. In 1,000 feet, turn right. So I gotta get it. Gotta get it. Gotta, gotta get it. Turn right on Wesley Chapel Boulevard. Okay, okay, okay. because I don't remember seeing the Dunkin' Donut. I know what I gotta do. I gotta watch my speed. See, I know where all I'm hiding at and um, on Bush be down, but I'm on. I'm in the New Tampa. I don't come here too often, so I'm gonna take it on down. Slow down, little mama. Could you get us in trouble? Right now I'm looking for a Dunkin' Donut because I'm, I'm craving. 
I don't smell no coffee in the air, so I'm nowhere near Dunkin' Donut. That sucks for me. <sighs> All right, family. My time had come to an end, but yours haven't. I need y'all guys to get out there today and make as much money as you can. Get it while you can. Trust and believe. Put some of it away. Is that Dunkin' Donut? Oh, no, it ain't a Dunkin' Donut. But put your money away, man. Make it and put it away. Don't spend it all in one day. All right, family, make sure you take care of your loved ones. If you got a mother or father, make sure you tell them you love them. Hug your kids. Beat them every chance you get. But that being said, I got to go, family. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace, family. Love you.